AIG is in distress due to its own recklessness and greed, the president said today, and taxpayers have every right to be outraged. It's hard to understand how derivative traders at AIG warranted any bonuses, much less $165 million in extra pay. So what then can the White House do about it? Over the weekend, the answer was not much. We're not a country where contracts just get abrogated uh, willy-nilly. But with a backlash building today, the president ordered a change in course, using AIG's $170 billion in bailout money as leverage. And I've asked Secretary Geithner to use that leverage and pursue every single legal avenue to block these bonuses and make the American taxpayers whole. That applause from an audience of small business owners reflects how widespread the anger is. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley in a radio interview said AIG executives should follow the Japanese example. Come before the American people and take that deep bow and say, I'm sorry, and then either do one of two things, resign or go commit suicide. Even the mild-mannered chairman of the Federal Reserve on 60 Minutes, his first TV interview, said nothing makes him angrier than AIG. It's absolutely unfair that taxpayer dollars are going to prop up a company that made these terrible bets. A new CBS News poll suggests American anger goes beyond AIG, with 75 percent saying banks' current problems are caused by management decisions. But some Republicans blame the Obama economic team for not barring big bonuses when they bailed out the banks. Before one penny goes into any other institution, not just AIG, we've got to ensure the American people are being protected. On another front, New York Attorney General Andrew Cuomo subpoenaed AIG today. He wants to know which executives got money and how much, if they were involved in the collapse of the bank, he plans to sue to get that money back. Russ? Chip Reed at the White House. Thank you very much.